till the day you walked into my life mm. And I never knew that my heart could feel so Right away. Thank you. Show me up here, please. Always come down. She's coming up. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this wonderful occasion that has brought us here together. The wonderful union of Bria and Lawrence. <laughs> Love is such a deeply personal thing, but also so universal. So while we're here to celebrate these two wonderful souls, we're also here to celebrate their love and how their love has affected each of us today. I am Aaron McSterling, ordained minister by Universal Life Church, and I couldn't be happier to officiate such a union full of authenticity and also affection. So to know Bria and Lawrence is to know that they met while in middle school. However, nothing really officially happened until they started to become adults and started to travel together. So they traveled across the country in a bed and breakfast, spent four days on a cruise. Now, follow me here. You, you get to know everything about a person from vacationing with somebody and living together. Now they're in the middle of the ocean with limited cell service. You guys do the math. So luckily though, being alone did nothing but bring them closer than ever before. And fast forward to today, they have not left each other's side. Bria, Lawrence, I offer you this. Love knows no bounds, has no limitations. Love will be there for you in the darkest of rooms, in the brightest of moments. 
Always lead with the love you have for each other, and you two will be unstoppable. Now we're going to have a prayer from Dr. James C. Bridges, Jr. Good evening, everyone. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in Mark 10 and 6 9, Jesus said to them, But from the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man should leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So then they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let not man separate or put asunder. Lawrence of Rhea, remember that we are taught, that we are taught in Corinthians 13, love is patient and kind, Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing Lawrence and Bria together. We ask that you continue to bless them from now and forever. May they go forth and have a beautiful life and a bountiful family. This I ask in your name, Lord. Amen. Amen. You're going to break, break my fingers. <laughs> yes, yes, you, you guys are right. <laughs> May we have the rings, please? <laughs> you still got them, right? <laughs> um, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. May these rings symbolize your inherent wholeness and unity with one another, giving you the strength to happily honor your commitments to each other. May they remind you that marriage is not a destination, but a journey with no beginning and no end, just a moment to moment opportunity to love each other to the best of your ability. Are we ready to say our vows to each other? Yes. You want me to go first? You yes. Go first. You go first? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Too loud. Bria, when we reconnected after our first date at Prospect, I knew then our paths would lead us to this day. You've been by my side, thick, thin, the bad, the ugly, and I love you for that at all times. Besides today being the happiest day of my life, the second most happiest day is when I proposed and you said yes. I promise to always love you, honor you, respect you, and protect you from this day forward. I love you with all of my heart for the rest of my life, and I will never change. Go ahead and put a ring on the finger. It's okay. It's a little okay. clammy. It's all right. I'm a little, a little clammy. My apologies. Take a deep breath, Lawrence. You a got it. A little this. clammy. My apologies. My apologies. Are you ready? <laughs> Lawrence, I love you so much. You are my person. You have told me how to love myself before I even loved you. Whenever I have any type of insecurities or anything, you see the beauty in every single flaw that I have. I just love you so much. Like, I'm so excited to marry you and be your wife and be my husband. You are really my person. And I'm just so excited to be your wife. Mm -hmm. You get a ring or the camera? Get a ring. Wrong hand. <laughs> Wrong hand. Sorry, I got fat knuckles, I help you. I got fat knuckles, I help. <laughs> they fit everybody. They fit. Hey, I don't know what to say. 
Wait, this is the wrong hand. What is that? We're about to do the candle light. Okay. Oh, that's not too I'm gonna switch it. Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay. okay. Lawrence and Bria, the two outside candles that will be burning here represents your lives at this moment. Each light is distinct, each able to go in their separate ways. Bria and Lawrence are two persons, unique, complex, and individual human beings. The two shall become one. From now on, which each of you have been individually, you will become together. As each of you take a candle, carry the flame to the center candle, and extinguish the small candles. Thus, let the center fire represent the new unity being celebrated in this service. As the one center light cannot be divided, neither can your lives. Can we have the mothers of the bride and the groom come light the candles for us, please? I'll let you know. No, let it go. Stay right there. I dropped it, I got nervous. Wait, that is right in. Why is it like, oh, I thought so. <laughs> Thank you. I was like, what the fuck? You guys ready to become one? So I thought we were doing one. Right? Go ahead and light what the candle. What do we do? We take the candle the instructions, it. Nick. We light the middle mm -hmm. with this. Let me pick these candles. Up. We pick these up. Uh -huh. And then light the center one. Together. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've all been waiting for. Do you, Bria, take Lawrence to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. Do you, Lawrence, take Bria to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. By the power invested in me by Universal Life Church and the state of New Jersey, I now pronounce you <laughs> husband and wife. Kiss that bride. Yes, everyone, it is my absolute honor to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Lawrence Thank you, girl. Thank you, let's work. Let's work. Oh. Y'all may have to go home early. I know you're a star. Where you go, I'll follow. No matter how far. If life is a movie, then you're the best part. If you love me, won't you say something? If you love me, won't you? Love me, won't you? If you love me, won't you? Ah. If you love me, won't you say something? If you love me, won't you? Love me, won't you? If you love me, won't you? Love me, won't you? If you love me, won't you say something? If you love me, won't you?
like the blue. It's got to always be night. I'm not 
set you all up here. First of all, you guys look freaking phenomenal. Give it up for the bride, the groom, the party. Under the chandelier, and Mama, meet him there, Mama. 
Mother and son dance, you all. Oh, you can come on, manners. You better escort your mother. I love that. For all those times you stood by me, for all the truth that you may see, for all the joy. Give it up for you guys. For all the wrong that you may right, for every dream you may the truth, for all the love I found in you, I'll be forever fine for baby. I'm gonna go first. <laughs> she ready? Okay. So to Bria, my AKA sister and my right hand, I'm so proud of the woman you are. I have seen you grow so much and become so resilient no matter what life throws at you. You are so caring, so selfless, and your loyalty to others is a testament to your incredible character. My ride or die to the day I die. <laughs> I can't wait to be a part of this next step in your journey with Lawrence. And to the fresh new husband and wife, I have witnessed your love blossom from the very beginning. Today is the reward of your dedication to each other. I love you both so, 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 so much. And congratulations to the most fabulous couple of the hour and the century. So cheers. I don't have my glass, but everyone should drink some champagne right now. Cheers. <laughs> to Bria, mutual friends brought us together and an unbreakable bond was formed. Watching you trans... Watching you transition into womanhood has been so beautiful to witness. This day is one that you've dreamed about since I've met you, and your manifestation has come true. A perfect union on a perfect day. Your loyalty is unmatched, and your heart is so pure. My best friend, my sister, I love you forever. <laughs> to the newlyweds. I am honored to stand beside you both as you seal your perfect union, one that I know will stand the test of time. 
I hope you two know that I will be here for every milestone, today and forever. Congratulations to the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Hayes. Cheers. <laughs> oh, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? Yeah. Whoa, wait. Whoa. So I just want to start off first by saying congratulations to Bria Hayes and Lawrence Hayes. If we can give a quick round of applause real quick. So um, first thing I just want to say, Bria, is I know I'm always joking around and playing around and everything, but I do really find you to be a little sister to me, especially being, being with Lawrence and everything. Um, when I first met you, you were very nice, very kind, and then I really got to know you a little bit. <laughs> so, you know, if you spend a little bit of time with Bria, you know that she, uh, she tells you to do something, you kind of have to do that. So. <laughs> I don't know if you've been around with Bri and I, but she does that to me as well. So, Bri, I just want to say to many, you know, a lot of future holidays together, spending with Lawrence as well. So, to you. Thanks, Thanks Bri. Now to this guy, Lawrence. Oh, no, I'm, not, I'm, I'm doing both, both sides, both sides. Do I have time? Cut, is there an end button? I don't see anyone coming with a mic, so thank you. Um, Lawrence. You know, we met each other through mutual friends. I don't know how we hit it off, but... <laughs> I don't know how we hit it off, but just, you know, liking the same things and everything. Oh, well, if you heard that, you heard that, but all right. Uh, once again, Lawrence, the only thing I have to say to you is happy life, happy wife. Make sure she's always good. Communication is key. So that's all I have to say. Okay, so clearly the gentleman didn't prepare anything. So <laughs> we are not prepared, but we here because we love Brian Lawrence. Y'all, this is the biggest day of y'all lives. You guys both look amazing, and I'm happy that you have us here celebrating with you. Lawrence, you have been my best friend for as long as I know. We are brothers, the brother I never wanted or even asked for, but we are brothers. I love you to death. Uh, Bria, you... Come on, I love you to death, Bria. You make Lawrence a better person. Lawrence makes you a better person. You guys are the best team. I love spending all my time with y'all. <laughs> and hanging out and laughing and doing all the great things. Um, it's gonna be a long life and I'm happy to be on the journey with y'all. But congratulations to Bria and Lawrence. If you wanna raise a glass for them. And cheers, cheers to everyone. Purr. I appreciate it. Purr. Help me be the best man I can, I can be. I like, I just wanted to do that. that oh, you like that song, right? Okay, give it to me. That's my song. Shout out to the best man, the bridesmaid. Now we have the siblings. The siblings, come siblings. You know who you are if you're, you're a sibling. Come on. <laughs> Yes, I do bar mitzvahs too. Call me, thanks. Oh, you wanna go first? You go first, man. All right, so cheers to Bria and Lawrence. So happy for you both. Uh, I wish you nothing but happiness and success in your future. Um, since the summer of 93, me and Bria have always had a special bond. She's my best friend, my biggest supporter, and someone I turn to in moments you know, in need or like if I make life, big life decisions. Um, I'm happy you found your person. Lawrence and Bria compliment each other, and I feel like you guys are, is the embodiment of love. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh, the <laughs> 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 through Bria, I met Lawrence, and we have a we have a we have a bond. We also hang out often without without Bria. Cause Bria's always sleep. Uh, <laughs> but I will say. Lawrence is an awesome guy, and I can't wait to, to have family vacations, to have holidays, all with you guys. I know you guys will, I wish you guys nothing but success and happiness. 
I just want to say, um, you know, congrats to Bria and Lawrence. Um, first, Bria, um, I, you know, I haven't cried in a minute, and I was boo-hooing, you know, when you, like, when, when you were saying your vows, uh, just because I just love you so much. Like, you're my only sister, and, like, you always, you know, been there for me, you know, basketball, school, girlfriend, like whatever I need, like you've been, you know, you've been the best, you've been my best friend, me, you and BJ are so close and we, you know, we have a special bond and, you know, I mean so much to me, you mean so much to me and I just can't thank you enough and like just seeing how, you know, beautiful you looked walking down the aisle, I just couldn't hold it in, <laughs> like, um, and, and then Lawrence, uh, you know, like, ever since, you know, you've been with my sister, you know, me and you've been, you know, so close, you know, bike riding every day through DC, you know, I, I, I had never biked in the street before, and you, and, and you, 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 you told me, you told me how to bike through the street, Lawrence told me that, you know, when, when I started biking with Lawrence, Lawrence was like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a car, so just, just imagine you're a car on the bike, so that's, that's kind of how we do it. Um, and then you, you know, you, you, you support me at the Maryland basketball games, and that, you know, that means, means, means the world to me. Um, you come more than BJ, honestly. <laughs> uh, but no, but no, seriously, I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy to be, you know, you be my brother-in-law, man, your, your family, man. I, I can't wait to, you know, be an uncle one day, you know, between you guys. So, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just happy for you guys, man. I, lo I love both of you guys, so. Oh. And cheers, cheers to you guys. Give it up for the siblings of the bride, everybody. That was beautiful. Next up, we have the parents of the bride. Let's go, come on. Yes. How beautiful does she look this evening? Thank you. Bria, I'm so proud of the woman you've become. You're hardworking, loving, caring, and always there to support others. In your 28 years, you've accomplished many goals and found the love of your life. I'm so happy to be your mom and couldn't ask for a better daughter. Lawrence, I see the way you treat and love Bria, and it warms my heart. Lawrence, I welcome you into our family. Congratulations to you both. I love y'all. <laughs> oh, I was waiting for your champagne, girl. I was going to drink with you. Cheers! <laughs> yeah. Last but not least, we have grandma of the groom, a mom of the groom. Come on, I'll see the Chanel brooch, girl, that's cute. I like it. Get over there. So I have prepared absolutely nothing. <laughs> so I'm gonna piggyback on Brenton about the bike. My fondest memory of Bria is a phone call with a trembling voice saying, Lawrence just got hit by a truck and we're on our way to the emergency room. No, he's on his way to my house. And I said, well, is he hurt? And she said, I think so. And I said, well, can we go to the emergency room? And Bria showed me that day how much she cared about Lawrence. So we went to, I think, an urgent care. Then we went across town to an emergency room. They said Lawrence had a concussion. I didn't allow any girls to spend the night until they were married when Lawrence was living with me. But Bria was there and we were at the hospital till what, like four or five in the morning. And then Lawrence whispers with the concussion, are you gonna make her go home? <laughs> And I wasn't, <laughs> and I wasn't because my room was on the top floor and his was in the bottom and I needed her to watch him for me. So, that day let me know how much Bria loved him and I'm happy you all made it to this point. 
Now to my baby. I'm so proud of you and the man that you have become. I got something. I don't know. He gave me this thing. <laughs> the man that you have become and the way that you love your new wife. And I just hope the best for you all and wish you nothing but success. And hurry up and make a baby, please. <laughs> I know I wasn't supposed to say that, but... And I know, <laughs> and Bria, welcome to the Hayes family, and I love you both. <laughs> Wait, let me walk you to your seat. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, don't we look good? <laughs> yeah. Your first role in this world was as our bouncing baby boy. We closed our eyes, but for a moment, and suddenly a man stood where a boy used to be. Today, we are grateful and overjoyed to see you become a husband. You have chosen a beautiful bride, Bria, whom we wholeheartedly embrace and love as our daughter. I know the two of you will be ready for all the roles God has in store for you. May you always have love and laughter in your home every day. May you live long and healthy lives as partners in every way. May you discover your purpose and may all your dreams come true. May nothing but blessings be poured out on the two of you. And finally, may God bless you with many living. Salute. <laughs> Child, they want some kids, okay? And then 